welcome to the video. So we've been living van life for about a week. We've been living in sunny Harrogate for the last couple of days. So we thought today we'd take you out on a day in the life of living a van in Harrogate. Ooh. We're gonna do a walking tour, show you guys all the sights, and maybe if you stay to the end of the video, we'll explain why Loretta is wearing this. All the sights? We're probably not gonna go anywhere, are we? We're doing the walking tour. Oh, true, in the walking tour. First stop, coffee. All will be revealed. <laughs> As we currently don't have a gas cooker, we have to go out for our morning beverage. Fortunately, pret a manger are currently doing a crazy offer. For £25, you can get five crafted drinks a day at any Pret in the country, which as we are travelling around the UK, couldn't be more perfect. Okay, we're caffeinated and we're just heading to the walking tour, so let's check out Harrogate. Woo! The heart of Great Britain in 1571. When we travel, we like to take walking tours, as it's a great way to see a new place and also learn some fun facts. Like the drinking water in Harrogate contains sulphur and iron, which shall we say is a required taste. Welcoming in 1849, the original Harrogate toffee designed to cleanse the palates of the water's putrid taste. However, the water also attracted a lot of visitors and made the town famous for its healing properties, bringing a slew of wealthy visitors from far and wide to try the magical water, including Winston Churchill and Oscar Wilde. Also, these Ganara plants only took nine weeks to grow this tall. That is mental. There is also a lot more stuff in the tour, but I don't want to spoil it for you, so if you're ever in Harrogate, I highly suggest you check it out. Okay, so that is the walking tour done. I can't believe that carrots actually don't make your eyes better. Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah. I don't know how you haven't. Time to go and grab some lunch, isn't it? Oh, you're supposed to have your mask up. I just want to show what you're eating for breakfast slash lunch. Coffee Brunch. Pop. But I made them earlier, so they're soggy. <laughs> Look. Yes. I don't have anything else to say, to be honest. Fun life on a budget. So just for while I was having lunch, the adventure doesn't have to stop when you're eating food. So I've got a regular peanut and banana sandwich. Also fancy trying something. Go on. Oh Kiwi my and banana God. and peanut butter sandwich. You are running Do you not think that sounds good? Mm, you're gonna like it, this I know you first. will. <laughs> There's a lot of peanut butter on it, which is probably why I like it. But yeah, it's not bad. Are you zooming in and out again? <laughs> Where are we up to now? Are you going to the gym? I thought you were coming as well. I don't know, I showered last night. So yeah, we'll go to Pure Gym and then we'll meet her at Pret for our fifth drink. Similar to Pret, Pure Gym also have a monthly membership which grants you access to over 260 gyms in the UK, which is also very convenient, enabling me to work out, stretch, and more importantly, get in my daily shower. Just make sure to go at off-peak times if you want to get a good workout in. Yeah. To the boudoir. Impossible to walk past without getting one. So we're just off to Nairsborough. Has anyone else had the chance to visit Nairsborough Castle already? Daylight Day is perfect visiting. Which it is home to Mother Shipton's Cave. It's actually the, the oldest paid for tourist attraction in England. Someone's doing, been doing some googling while I've been in prayer. <laughs> It is interesting though, because I've always, so I went to Mother Shipton's Cave when I was little and I probably only remember that there was a park or something, you know, I don't remember anything, I didn't know who she was, so when I read that she was a friggin' prophet. Can she not, so we can't go to the cave now? No, you wouldn't go anyway. I would, why? You wouldn't. Why? Because you have to pay. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so we're in Nesborough. Yeah, we've got an hour because parking's like 90p. But we've, we're in a bit of a dilemma. We found someone's wallet. We have no idea what to do with it, to be honest. Loretta's trying to find him on Facebook. He's from Middlesbrough, which is kind of weird because we were just talking about if it's Borough or Bra. It's a, it looks like a, a small place, so maybe we'll bump into him. That'd be cool. We just posted it through the police letterbox. We literally didn't know what to do with it. If you have a, a wallet, make sure you got your address and phone number no in it. No address, we don't need okay. unless it's local. <laughs> but phone number is yeah. actually a really good idea, yeah. like you say. Leave your phone number in your wallet, guys. So, oh, is it you? <laughs> okay, seeing as the writers think she's some kind of tour guide after doing one walking tour today, she actually forgot to mention something that I found pretty interesting in the tour and I just noticed here as we're looking at the houses that back in the day, I can't insert date here, 
Do you know what date it was? No. We don't know what date it was, but they used to do taxes for how many windows you have on the houses. So some houses would board up windows. So that's where the saying, daylight robbery came from. Like that's daylight robbery. I thought it was quite interesting. That is one of the fun facts of the day. Yeah, and that carrots don't help you see. Yeah, that was propaganda, but I knew that and I don't think it has anything to do with Harrogate. Okay, so we've had a change of plans. We're now going to head to Skipton, which is about a 40 minute ride. So we're going to start making our dinner before we head off, which is going to be noodles, which we're going to cook in a flask with hot water. So a lot of noodles. <laughs> Let's see how they do. Okay, so we're going to Bolton Abbey. We've never been before. I am. And we're also... I just have to spoil my... Okay, so heading off to Bolton Abbey where I've never been before. About a 40 minute journey and we're gonna cook these noodles on the way. It's the first time we've done this noodle cooking. So I'm excited to see how it works out. So I guess we'll see you guys there. I'm in a room with you, that missing piece is found. So we've just arrived in beautiful Bolton Abbey. It is literally like 8,000 degrees and it's almost eight o'clock. We're gonna to go to the river and cook up some dinner. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go. These are the edamame noodles. <laughs> what? Edam okay, so these are the edamame noodles that we have like 50 boxes of. Um, super high in protein. I wanna see how they taste. Cooked in a thermos with some Starbucks hot water. Hard to get on your fork, eh? Not bad. I definitely need some salt. So that's our dinner done at Bolton Abbey. So we're gonna head back to the car now and call it a night. So we'll show you where we're parked at. As always, we found our accommodation on Park for Night. This spot was super quiet, beautiful. And if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend checking this spot out. Let's get my eye. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's the end of the full day of van life. Yeah, pretty typical day for us. Just travel around three different countries, places, cities. No, it's not typical. Anyway, I'm tired. We've walked like 20,000 steps. We've seen some beautiful sights. We've had some nice warm noodles. And now I'm going to finish the day with some cookies. And in the next video, if people are still interested, we might show what Loretta's been hiding. See you next week. The kiwi peanut butter is really grown on me. I've got something growing on me. <laughs>